Hello and welcome to the next video in the binary series. In this video we're going to look at how to subtract binary numbers. So first we are going to revise how to subtract decimal numbers so you will be able to compare them to binary subtraction. Then we're going to look at the rules of subtracting the binary numbers. Then I'll show you a few examples of binary subtraction and at the end you will have a chance to do some practice questions on your own which will have the answers later. So, how do we subtract decimal numbers? Let's say you had to carry out the subtraction of 237 minus 89. So, first of all, you need to line up the number in the correct way. So, usually the number that needs to be taken away from goes at the top and the number that is taken away goes at the bottom. But it's very, very important that you line them up with the correct place values under each other, so unit goes under unit. Therefore, you're lining it up from the right. So you put 9, 8 here, and then for yourself not to forget what you're doing, you should put the minus sign in there. And then what happens? I need to take away 9 from 7, or think about it 7 minus 9. But what's going on in there? My 7 is too small, so I won't be able to take away 9 from it because there isn't enough. So what I need to do, I need to borrow. And this is a very important concept with al which also will come up in the binary subtraction. So how do I borrow? Well, I have got three tens in here. So out of those three tens, I'm going to keep two of them here. And I'm going to take one into here. But remembering now that one ten is ten units. So altogether, this is now not one and seven, but it's seventeen. I mean, the decimal system is quite useful in that case because I can just look at the two digits and treat it as a two-digit number. That will not be the case in binary. I'll show you a different trick in binary. So 17 is now more than 9, so I can take 9 away from 17, and that's going to give me 8. 2 take away 8, same case scenario. Again, 2 is too small, so I have to borrow again. So borrow one, one in here. So this 200, I kept 100 in here and I put the other 100 as 10 tens into the next column. So that is now 12 tens take away eight tens, which is four. And then one take away nothing, just gives me one. It might seem a bit over explained for you in this case because you probably just know the mechanics to do it but I think it's important that you understand what's going on behind all those mechanics. So what we've done here, we broke up the three tens into two tens and one ten broken up into ten units and here the two hundreds we broke up into one hundred and one of those other hundreds being broken up into ten tens and that's how we can now do the subtractions because that's how we end up with bigger numbers at the top than at the bottom so we can carry out the subtraction. Right so how are these rules going to change in binary? Remember that the way we were doing the subtraction was digit by digit so I was taking digits away. Now the rules for the binary 0 take away 0 well, that is zero because I'm taking away nothing from nothing. One take away zero is just one because I'm taking nothing away from one. One take away one, that's again going to give me zero because one take away one is obviously zero. The tricky bit here is the zero take away one. Now, that will be one but with borrowing. Okay, so this one, this one here, is will be something that we've done in the 7 minus 9 part of the example previously. So remember 7 minus 9 was equal to 8 but we borrowed. Okay so let's have a look at one practical example and that's probably going to make a little bit more sense. So Let's say that I have to calculate 1101 take away 1010. 
So, the rules. 1 take away 0, well, that's obvious, it's just 1 because I'm taking nothing away from 1. 0 take away 1. This was the 1 when I had to borrow. So what's going on in here? I'm going to have to come into this column and that is now being borrowed, so I left with nothing in here because I took that only one away from here. But I break it up into a smaller place value now. And one of these will make two of the smaller place values. And that's why, when you think about it, take these two away, they cancel each other out, and that's why you end up with one in here, and then we borrowed. And zero take away zero is zero, and one take away one is zero. So, these two zeros I can even forget about, because they're not necessary zeros, unless you work in a fixed length binary, you can always cancel out these unnecessary uh, zeros. So the answer would be just one, one. Now, sometimes you might not be able to borrow because let's say that there was a zero in here. I wouldn't have been able to borrow it, in, uh, borrow it from here. So what would we need to do? Well, just similarly as if it was decimal, we would need to go and look for a digit, um, look for a column where uh, there is digits different from zero. So I could be able to borrow from there. So let's have a look at an example how these things works. So, 1, 0, 0, 1, take away 1, 1, 1. So how am I going to do this subtraction? Well, 1 take away 1 gives me 0, so that's not a difficulty so far. But now I have got 0 take away 1, and I would need to borrow. There's nothing in here that I can borrow, so what I need to do here, I need to go one more column further, and I need to borrow from here. Now, there is 1 in here, so I can borrow from here. So, I take that one away, this is now a zero. And I've got two of the ones in here, because remember, every bigger place value build up two of the smaller place values. And now I have got enough in here, so I can borrow this and I can replace it here. So again, I, these two cancel each other out, because one minus one gives me a zero, so I left with a one. And one minus one again gives me zero and zero take away nothing is again a zero. So the answer for this subtraction is one zero. Again, I can leave out those two unnecessary zeros. Next example, let's look at something that is a little bit longer. One, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, take away one, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. 0, take away 0, gives me 0. 0, take away 1, I have to borrow. So I borrowed this one, it's now a 0, and it makes two of the smaller place values. So these two cancel out into 0, and I have got left 1 in here. Remember, this, is have, this have been borrowed, so it's not, uh, not here anymore. So 0, take away 1, I can't do again, so I need to borrow again. So this one, I'm going to take away from this column, and that's going to give me one and one in here. Again, these two cancel each other out, because one take away one gives me zero, but I still have got that one in the column. Zero take away zero is zero. Zero take away one, again I would have to borrow, but there's nothing in here, so I have to go all the way into this column. So I'm going to remove this one, make it zero and then add 2 into here, but remember my goal is to be able to do this subtraction, so I have to borrow again, and I need to do 1 and 1 in here. So these cancel each other out into 0, so that 1 left in the column, and 1 take away nothing gives me the 1, and there is one last thing that I need to do here, because 0 take away 1 is again the, can, uh, the scenario when I can't do the subtraction, so I have to go and borrow, so that becomes 0, and I can put 1 and 1 into here. These will again cancel out, and there is that that's still left in the column. So the final answer to this subtraction will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, the examples you've seen so far is when the positioning was already done correctly for you. But that's not 
necessarily the case. So what are we going to do if you were given a subtraction but in a line format? So how do we start from that? So 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 take away 1 0 0 1 1 1 1. So what you need to do now need to copy this number and put that on the top and then I need to copy this number uh, uh, at the bottom but making sure that I'm lining it up correctly so I'm gonna start from the back of the number and I'm lining it under here so 1 1 1 1 2 zeros and the one and make sure that when you're lining the numbers you've got the correct place values under the correct place values otherwise the subtraction will be quite difficult to carry out so one take away one is zero that's just normal numbers zero take away one I can't do I have to borrow so I need to borrow this one here put it there again these two cancels each other out but I still got one left in the column same scenario again I need to borrow from here, put those two into here, take away, and then I left what uh, left with one in the column. Now what's going on in here? I need to borrow, but there's nothing in here, there's nothing in here, so I have to go all the way to borrow from here. So I need to borrow this one, that makes two in this column, but there's still nothing in this column, so I have to borrow one of those and put it into this column. Now. I have got something next to the column that I actually need something in so borrow one more and do it this way so again this and that cancels out I've got left with one one take away zero is one one take away zero is one again zero take away one I can't do so I have to borrow this one now will be break into two of these and again cancel these ones out and then you've got one left in the column so the answer to this subtraction is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I copied it correctly. And then let's look at the last example. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 take away 1 1 1 0 1 1 so again I'm gonna start with the first number because that is the number that I'm taking away from 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 and then I'm gonna copy underneath the other number making sure that the place values are lined up correctly so 1 1 0 1 1 1 and not forgetting that I'm doing a subtraction I'm going to put the negative sign at the front 1 take away 1 is 0 1 take away 1 is 0 0 take away 0 is 0 0 take away 1 I have to borrow there's nothing in here so I have to go all the way to here and borrow from here so 2 into here and one of those can be borrowed into here and now I can carry out the subtraction in this column these two will cancel each other out and I have got the 1 in here uh, in this column now I have got 1 at the top 1 at the bottom so 1 take away 1 gives me the 0 and here's 0 take away 1 now this is again the case when I have to borrow because there's nothing to take away from so I'm going to have to borrow this one and make it 2 into here again 1 take away 1 is 0 but I still have got left that 1 digit in there 0 take away nothing is 0 and 1 take away 0 just gives me the 1 so the solution to this subtraction is 1 0 1 0 1 and 3 more zeros well I hope that these examples help you to understand how to do the binary subtraction but just to make sure that you actually follow the instructions let's go through them again so first thing which is very important 
is that you're lining up the numbers correctly. So you lining up the number that you're taking away from at the top, underneath you copy the number that you're taking away, making sure that everything is going under the same place value. So units under units, first column under first column. Then you're going to uh, carry out the subtraction digit by digit following the subtraction rules which we mentioned at the very beginning. So 0 take away 0 is 0, 1 take away 0 is 1, 1 take away 1 is 0 and if you end up with the scenario when you have to take away 1 from 0 you have to go through the borrowing process and if there is nothing to borrow in the column directly next to the one that you're trying to subtract you have to go up until you have got a non-zero digits and then keep borrowing back down to the column where you need the number. Now it's your turn so you will see a few practice questions in the next page. Have a go at them and then you will see the answers later. Here are the questions. And here are the answers.